Dustin Weinkoff here, product specialist with Agland. Today we're going to go through our product support video for our C-Series air carts. We're now going to go through our calibration. There are two possible ways to calibrate with the C-Series air cart, in cab or cart side. We want to make sure that wherever we start is where we finish. If we start a calibration in the cab, we must finish there. And if we start a calibration cart side, we must finish there. Now, we will go to calibrate at the top, select which tanks we want to calibrate, hit start. This screen here tells us to install our bag, make sure our meter is primed. Once that is complete, we can hit start. It will now go to the air cart and press and hold the calibration switch. To zero our scale, we can put our bag on it here, zero, and then when we do our calibration, we don't need to subtract the weight of the bag. If we forget to do this, Easy to remember, the bag weighs 0.95 pounds. So now back at our cart here, we've got our proper color meter rule installed. We want to make sure that our half width disconnect is open. Then what we can do, we can open up our bottom door, move the handle. Now the swinging door here, you can pull up, pull it back to the side and it will lock in the open position. To install our meter bags, we'll take our meter bags under here, we'll install it on the hooks on the opposite side. Pull it around and wrap it to the front hooks here. So we've got our meter bag tight, give it a pull and make sure that it's attached well. Make sure that our slide here for our top shoot bottom shoot is pushed in so it allows product to come into our metering bag. So we've primed our meter roll, ran it over about three revolutions, dumped the bags back out, reinstalled them, and we're now ready to calibrate. Press and hold our calibration switch. We'll press and hold this until the meter stops turning. Now that the meter stopped turning, we can remove our bag. So now we've got our product, we're going to weigh it here. We're going to see 21.23 pounds and we're going to go enter that into the display. So at our display, we'll hit next. We'll enter in our weight, 21.23 pounds. Hit OK. Calibration successful. So to do a cart side calibration, go to our menu button here, scroll over to meter calibration, checkbox, and here we can select which tank we want to calibrate. All of our rates will be set up in the display. Select the left arrow for the mini tank, hit start, same thing, we will want to prime our meter rollers, empty the bag, reinstall the bag, and hit next. We will now press our cali hydraulic calibration switch until it stops turning. Ryan, can you hear that music? In now that we've weighed our bag, we need to enter our weight. We'll hit the left arrow here and key in our desired weight. then hit next and accept to save the MDV value. Now to do our tenth of an acre verification, we want to go to our book and wrench diagnostics, go to tests, meter verification, select which tank we want to verify that we will not be driving, 
we can enter our desired speed here of how fast the tractor would typically be driving and our area to simulate. At a tenth of an acre, we should get 12 pounds of product. You can now go press and hold the calibration switch. We'll now press and hold our meter calibration switch and our meter will turn for one tenth of an acre. And then it will stop. We're now going to weigh our bag from our tenth of an acre check. So we were set, we calibrated to 120 pounds. Um, so we should see 12 pounds on here and we see 11.93. So that's about 119.3 pounds. I always like to be a little bit under. That way when we put air to the system, we'll typically apply just a little bit more. Ready? Now that we've done our meter calibration and our tenth of an acre check, we want to close everything up and get set back up to go seating. First, we want to close our bottom door here, locking it with the handle, and making sure our pin is in place. Last, we want to make sure that our slide for our top chute, bottom chute is set in the proper position for what we are applying. In this case, pushed in for bottom chute. To do an active cow from our air cart main run page, we want to select active cow. Here, we want to make sure that we are stopped on level ground and that our tanks are at least half full for the ones we wish to calibrate. We can then hit next. Here, we can select which tank or tanks we would like to calibrate. If you are calibrating canola or inoculant, it is best to do them alone as the smaller rates take much longer to calibrate. Here, you can select the tank in which you want to calibrate and hit start. We can now go seating. At this time, you can change run pages and always come back to active cal. Once we have, once the air cart has seeded out a, the correct amount of seed, it will alert you on the display that it is happy. Here you can see that we have seeded out a recommended weight and a new MDV value can be calculated. You can hit OK. At this time, you can keep seeding until you get to the end of the field and a level spot. Once there, you can hit stop and the calibration is complete. Here you can see your new MDV value and hit accept to save.